And now, Cap gave you first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Kristen Walls. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It is 643 and back to just a beautiful start to your Tuesday morning. Nothing but that blue sky as we're giving you a live look. Legend Sky Cam Network in downtown Yakima. That is all powered by People for People. Next couple of days, that heat will return. Some 90s back in the forecast. Low 90s out there for today, but Wednesday, that'll be the hottest day out of the work week. Upper 90s, close to 100 degrees in a few locations. Now, we will have some changes returning by Thursday. Maybe a shower or storm chance out there. Slightly cooler temperatures by Thursday and Friday into the low 90s, but at least the sun will return Friday and into the upcoming Labor Day weekend. Hot temperatures, though, will be accompanied by some of that sunshine. Low to even mid-90s for your Saturday and Sunday. Now, speaking of temperatures, as we get you out the door this morning, maybe a light jacket needed, as you'll see. Numbers down to 49 degrees in Ellensburg. Yakima, you're near 50 degrees with 51 in the Tri-Cities. Down to now 49 degrees in Hermiston and then 56 for Walla Walla. Still some light wind speeds, calm in many locations, including Connell up towards Moses Lake. A five mile per hour wind, Tri Cities, and even back over into Yakima this morning. Chenna pods and composites, that'll be the main weed pollens out there for today. The grass and the weed pollen, right at that moderate category. Quiet conditions once again, not a whole lot of changes here locally. That ridge of high pressure is still in place. As a matter of fact, the heat is still building in the Portland area, and that is where that heat advisory is in place today and tomorrow. Now, we will also have that heat building for the next couple of days. Again, that mostly sunny sky out there for today. Upper 90s out there for, this, uh, for your Wednesday afternoon. And then the changes arrive. We'll have a very weak system delivering the chance for maybe a few showers, a thunderstorm across the area. As we head throughout your day on Thursday, notice just a lot of cloud cover moving. Moving in. Not a whole lot of rain, but we will have those changes in the forecast, and you will need your umbrella uh, for your Thursday. Back to plenty of sunshine just in time for your upcoming Labor Day weekend. There's a look at Friday afternoon with those highs back into the low 90s. Typically, 88 is where we sit at. The hottest day will be on Wednesday at 97, and then those numbers hovering just above our average for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. But notice by Monday, 88 degrees for that high temperature on Labor Day. Forecast for today, later on this afternoon, we are looking at a high of 89 in Toppenish with 90 degrees in Yakima, 92 in the Tri-Cities with a high of 89 degrees in Prosser, 91 for Walla Walla. Overnight tonight, we will have that clear sky, upper 50s and low 60s. Seven-day forecast for the Tri-Cities. There's Thursday, the chance for some showers and storms at 93. Lots of sunshine for the upcoming Labor Day weekend. The hottest day will be on Saturday there at 95. Labor Day a little bit cooler with a high of 88. And then here's that seven day forecast for Yakima with that shower storm chance on Thursday at 92 and then back to lots of sunshine over the weekend.